Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about foundation. When I was thinking about getting ready the other day, a light bulb went off in my head and I was like, that would be a cool video. If I just talked about not only my favorite foundations, but why I would wear this foundation. Do I wanna look natural? Do I wanna look face tuned? Do I wanna look full coverage? Am I gonna be in the heat? Am I gonna be eating tacos? All of these things I take into consideration when choosing a foundation for that day. So we're gonna go into it. I'm gonna start with the lowest coverage to the fullest coverage and just like, work my way down. Before I talk about the foundations, I just wanted to tell you guys my skin type. I know a lot of people judge foundations based on their skin type. What works for me may not work for you, etc., etc. So my skin type is combination. I'm pretty normal around this area and then oily here. I get very shiny in this area here. So the first thing is the CC cream. This for sure is that real quick, let me look like I'm naturally slaying. I got errands to do. I got somewhere to be five minutes, but I still wanna look snatched. And I may be in the sun. This is the It Cosmetics CC Your Skin But Better Full Coverage Color Correcting Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. That is a long, long name. And it has SPF 50. It's amazing. I will be the first person to tell you that I'm not a fan of CC creams, baby creams, baby CC creams, DD creams. I'm pretty sure I saw an FF cream. They're evolving and I still just don't know what the letters stand for. I think CC color correcting, that makes sense. I know they've never worked for me, but this one, this one has worked for me. It's really full coverage. It covers all of my breakouts, but it still looks like skin, which is weird. It just looks like you applied a really hydrating moisturizer that covers everything. I use my hands to apply it, so it's really fast. Throw it on real quick, and you look naturally beautiful. That's what this is, and I'm in the shade tan. The only thing I will say about this is that I know a lot of CC creams, not just IT Cosmetics, but like a lot of companies who put out CC and BB and you know, whatever, chingadera, BB creams, they do not really cater to medium to deep skin tones. It's like everything is really light and then it's a little bit ashy. That's the only downside to CC creams and BB creams in general. As far as the finish of CC creams and BB creams, they're meant to make you look like natural and have a really nice glow to the skin. So they're not gonna be matte. This is definitely more of a dewy finish. I would say in particular, this one isn't the most dewy, which is nice because you don't wanna look greasy. This one has a good consistency. It's just fresh fresh, it's not too oily, not too greasy. All right, numero dos. We have the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Foundation. This one also has an SPF. It is SPF 20. This one I would put in the family of like a great daytime foundation. I absolutely love this. I think it's such a good foundation for any skin type. I've seen so many people rave about it and when I first tried it, I also really, really loved it. This has like a satiny skin-like finish. It's very light, but it it covers. It's just like the most beautiful, lightweight foundation. I know Vegas Nay uses it. I actually watched her Snapchats and she talked about how she loved this and she lives in Vegas and it's really, really hot there. So for a foundation to hold up in that kind of heat is great. I'm in the shade medium dark and I would say this one is a little bit more full coverage than the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Obviously this one's more of a foundation. If I'm going to like brunch or whatever, I'm going to be out in the sun. I love to use something like this when I want my skin to to look a little bit more perfect. So this is like the next level. First, the CC cream was like a little bit more of like a running errands. I wouldn't do a full glam with the CC cream, but then this one, this one is great, not only for running errands because it's gonna last you all day, but it's also good for a full glam because it does give you a really nice finish. So the next two foundations, I'm gonna put in the category of like my universal foundations. And I think we all have that foundation that we could go to. It's a sure thing. You know that it's gonna work for any occasion. And I have two, one is like, a high-end and one is a drugstore and I love them both equally. So the high-end foundation is the Benefit Hello Flawless. This one also has an SPF of 20, which is nice. Usually I wouldn't recommend an SPF for nighttime use when you're gonna be taking flash photography because if you guys don't know, SPF does give you flashback. Flashback is when you wear SPF and you take photos with flash photography at night and you look at the photo and you're like, whoa, why is my face so white? When you know that's not what you look like. It's because the SPF in your foundation or your moisturizer is actually flashing back at the camera. But for some reason, I've never had a problem with this one. And then my drugstore version of this go-to foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and 
poreless. I love these two foundations. These are my safe bet. Always gonna work for me. They're just gonna come through for me. They're gonna give me the right amount of coverage. They're gonna make me look healthy. Healthy is a word I like to use when I'm describing the skin to look glowy and not super matte. And when I say healthy, I mean like more of a satin slash dewy. Even though this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, it's not like super, super matte. It looks really, really nice and it does give you kind of a matte finish, but I wouldn't say it's like, you know, the L'Oreal Pro Matte, which is like really, really matte. The colors I have for these foundations, the Benefit Hello Flawless, I'm in the shade beige and the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline, I'm in the shade 222. These two definitely have a very healthy glow finish. They're not super matte. They're not super dewy. They kind of live in the middle. So this would be great for all skin types in my opinion and then the hello flawless this one I would say wears a little bit more dewy throughout the day so it's great satin finish when you first apply it it stays really well but I know that it does get a little bit more I like to say dewy but I would say it does get a little bit dewy so I'm not sure how great this would work on oily skin let me know if you guys have tried it and you have oily skin but I definitely think it's gonna be great for dry combination and normal skin types for show if I talk about any of these foundations and you guys have a certain skin type and maybe one did work for you, one didn't work for you, I would love for you guys to leave those in the comments. I just wanna say that real quick so that you guys can all help each other because clearly I only have the skin type I have so I just have to go by what I see and what I hear people say and how it wears on me to kind of think about how it would wear on other skin types. So let's all help each other out in this community. God, all my foundations are so dirty. My mom literally gets mad at me when she sees my videos and she's like, why don't you wipe off your compacts? Why don't you wipe off your makeup? Why does it look so dirty? I'm like, so like I, I think about her yelling at me in Spanish when she's really mad. So I gotta just make sure to give it a good wiping. Then we have the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I'm in the shade Syracuse, which is medium dark one. This is another foundation that you can wear it during the day or you could wear it to events, you could wear it to go eat tacos. I wouldn't really wear it to the beach. I wouldn't really wear it to like the gym, but I would wear it on other daytime events, nighttime events. So if I think to myself, hmm, I wanna look healthy and luminous, hmm, this one. This foundation got so many mixed reviews when it first came out. It got bad reviews and it got good reviews. I never really was interested in trying it because I did see such bad reviews and I was like, mm, I'm not gonna buy that. When I was at the Sephora in France, I wanted to buy the Sheer Glow by NARS. The girl helping me accidentally gave me this one and I didn't realize until I got back to my hotel and I was like, oh well, I'm just gonna use it anyway. So I tried it out and I, I didn't really feel like a strong connection to it. I used it with my beauty blender. I felt whatever about it. I wasn't like, oh my God. I kind of put it down for a while. I've been mixing this with other foundations. I like to mix foundations all the time, but I've never like gone back to using it on its own until for some reason I started, I applied this one day with my hands and I was like, First of all, why would I apply foundation with my hands? Because I never do that, but I did. And it was a totally different experience. I used it all over my face, and then I noticed as I was blending it in, I was like, wow, this looks amazing. Like, it's giving me that wow factor that it didn't give me when I applied it with the Beauty Blender. Afterwards, I just made sure that there was no streaks by going over it with my Beauty Blender, but the initial application was with my hands, and it looked amazing. It's supposed to give you that nice luminosity. I'm actually wearing the foundation right now. This is the current foundation that I have on. If I were to compare this to the NARS Sheer Glow, that is a lot more slippery. It's luminous, but it, it moves around a little bit more, whereas this one, it sets, and it still gives you a healthy look. I put this foundation to the test recently when I went to Vegas. I wore this foundation, and it, it was everything. And what's weird is that usually, actually every single time I wear foundation, my nose gets oily right here. Every single time, it just gets shiny. I always have to powder it. I look in the mirror and I'm like, whoa, I have to dab it. I looked in the mirror after a long day and my nose was not shiny and that's never happened. I'm usually always shiny there and I literally had to look again and think, what's happening? Like, we're in Vegas, it's hot. How is my nose not shiny? It was because I was wearing this foundation. If you have it and you didn't like it, try it again. Let me know what you think after you try it like this. Let me know. All right, I'm gonna throw you guys a curveball. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is a powder foundation. I've always used powder foundations, but I don't use them traditionally. I like to use them with regular foundations. I have been loving the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This is what I use when not only am I breaking out and I wanna look 
like I'm not breaking out, but I'll also use it to bronze my skin, contour my nose, and just give me that face-tuned, flawless finish. So whatever foundation I'm wearing underneath, I will, depending on what my skin looks like, I will set it with the powder foundation like a light dust, and it's gonna give you a little bit more coverage. And say, for example, you're breaking out in this area here, and you want more coverage, but you wanna bronze, and you don't wanna just keep adding, adding, adding more makeup. I will use a powder foundation to bronze the perimeter of my face, and that's gonna give you double the coverage, and it's just gonna look amazing. The shade that I'm in is Camel. This is my all over skin tone shade. I do have a darker one that I like to use to contour and bronze my skin and also to contour my nose. If you like to wear powder foundation on its own, it's going to be great. If you want to put it on top of foundation, you're just going to look like a doll. You're going to look perfect. So that is why I like the powder foundation. So my last category is my full coverage must-haves. I have four here. Four full coverage foundations. Two of them are drugstore and two of them are high-end. These are the ones I wear when I don't want any sweat. I don't want any oil. I don't want any shine. I want my skin to look perfect all night. I got places to be for a long period of time, so don't play me foundations. Two of them are drugstore and two of them are high-end. So I'm just gonna go in with my drugstore store first because I know you guys like them drugstore foundations as do I L'Oreal infallible pro matte first of all this one before I go into the next one this one's number one this is the best drugstore matte full coverage foundation out there I'm in the shade 107 fresh beige this is heavy duty full coverage very very matte I'm not sure how people with dry skin will feel about this foundation but I know normal combination and oily skin I've seen all three of those skin types wear this foundation and and mm, and love it. If you do have dry skin and you've tried it, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you're going for a luminous look, this is probably not the foundation for you. However, what I like to do, and this is a trick, I like to apply my luminous foundation all over whatever that foundation is, and then when I know that I'm going to get oil on my nose, I apply this on the nose area, on the T-zone, and it just like barricades all the oils in. It doesn't allow them to come out, but then the rest of my skin still looks luminous. So that's a trick that I've been doing. It just works. It's great. So this, to me, is like a must-have. Next full coverage drugstore foundation is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is a two-in-one foundation and concealer. I'm in the shade Medium Beige, and usually when it's like a foundation concealer two-in-one, I'm like, no. But this one actually covers the under eye areas if you have any issues. However, I still use a concealer with it because I like that extra brightening. This foundation is great. It is full coverage. It literally covers everything. It doesn't have a super matte finish. This one has more of a satin finish. It says it's an oil-free formula, long wearing. It is lightweight and it's water resistant and sweat proof. And I think it's gonna be good for any skin type because it doesn't fall too far on either side of the spectrum. It's just right in the middle, it has a great coverage and I like to apply this with a beauty blender. So my last two foundations are high-end full coverage foundations and they have been a part of my collection for a very long time. They're kind of like staples for me and I'll show you guys what they are. The first one is MAC Studio Fluid. I'm in the shade NC40. It's been with me for so long. It's probably the first high-end foundation I've ever bought. In. This is like what everybody and their moms used to use back in the day. And I still stand by it and say that like, I really, really love this foundation. This isn't a foundation that I would wear every day. I used to when I was younger, but I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have done that because it is super, super full coverage. It's not a lightweight. Like you definitely feel like I got makeup on type of thing. But if you really just want to look great and you have have a special event this is always a go-to for me it's just not too matte it's not too dewy it's kind of in the middle it has full coverage the only thing is that MAC foundations to me have like a kind of a funky smell I don't know what it is about them but it goes away you just smell it initially for me and then it goes away you can apply this with a kabuki brush or a beauty blender it works well with any like form of application to me this is great for brides it just gives you that full coverage pretty sure I wore max studio fluid on my wedding day as well and it held up really really great there's not much I can say about it it's a staple for me full coverage great great and then lastly, we have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. This foundation, I promise you, looks spectacular, like on your face. It's gonna cover everything. You're gonna look super matte, super perfect. There's not gonna be any oil sliding through this foundation at least for me, when I wear it, that's how I feel. However, there is one huge downside to this foundation. This foundation gives you the worst flashback. It'll make your whole face look white. You cannot do flash photography with this foundation, ever. 
iPhone flash, forget about it. Like you will look like a ghost. That is the downfall of this. If that was taken out of the equation for this foundation, it would honestly be the greatest foundation because if you want full coverage, this is it. If you want your face to look like a perfect, perfect porcelain doll, this is it. It's just so good, but the flash photography kills it. I still have it in my favorites because it is a great foundation. If you're gonna be working all day, long hours, and you want your face and your makeup to like hold up, this is the one you wanna use. And I just think this foundation works great with every skin type. It's just like a barrier of amazingness on your face. Estee Lauder, whatever it is in this foundation that gives you flashback, if you guys change it, I will literally just, because it will be the best foundation. It's just so good for that matte doll-like finish. So those are my top favorite foundations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below if you've tried any of these foundations, what your skin type is, and if you liked it or you didn't like it, help everybody else out. If you're looking for your perfect foundation, you watch this video, you have a certain skin type, maybe somebody in the comments will help you guys out. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. Bye. I feel all over the place in this video. Sorry. Moving right along. <sighs> <gasps> Marky! Oh, I didn't even know you were here. Those collarbones are on point though. Could you eat cereal out of them? <laughs> A little milk? A little leche? <laughs> <laughs>